Okay guys, Bondo here. This is today's project. We're gonna pour this floor, this little Nadura project. Um, we got wire mesh down, plastic underneath there for a vapor barrier. There's a big piece of concrete right there that you can see. That's for the center jack post. We got lines snapped along the Nadura block. Um, and the reason we're pouring the floor before we build the walls, it's a lot easier to do that, guys. We can get this, con we can bring a little conveyor truck right in here and we could just shoot right in there and just fill that right in easy. Then when you'll see when we finish this floor, I'll show you how easy it is to do the edges. You can reach right over there, right from the wall and just mag your edges of your floor. You don't have to get on knee boards or nothing. So that'll be really nice. It makes it so much easier. Plus if you pour the floor after the walls are built, the sun will reflect against the Nadura and radiate back on your floor and it will uh, make that edge really dry really fast. And then like over here, on this side, you'll have a shady spot because the wall will be up here and the sun will be going like this and it won't hit it. So this whole section here will actually be really soft. You probably won't even be able to walk in this section, yet over here will be really hard and burnt. So it makes it really hard to finish it. So this is just so much easier. And then we got a nice flat floor to work on. We're not tripping over rocks and stuff. So we'll have a nice floor and we can set our scaffolding right in, on that floor. We'll just put little tap con screws into the floor and then you just take a little mortar and uh, fill the holes when you're done. You don't even see them. We do it all the time like this. Much easier to do it this way, guys. Stay tuned for the pour. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, I got a brand new Whitman power trowel here. I'm gonna try out today. It's got the quick pitch on it. So when you adjust this, it actually pitches your blades. You don't have to dial the crank screw there pitch the blade so I'm um, gonna try this bad boy out today should be a really nice unit it's got combo blades on it that's what she looks like never used it brand spanking new not even a spot on it she's gonna get a little dirty though yep 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 here comes the mud oh Sean knows he's been here before it's Sean in the Circle T truck with the conveyor. Let's get this show on the road. It's going to be a hot one today. We got 4,000 pound concrete, guys. It's got a super plasticizer in it. So it should be nice and workable. We're going to pour it at about a six slump. But it will really be about a four slump without the water reducer in there. That's what we're up to. Stay tuned. Getting the boom stretched out. We got wire mesh in there, guys. We got these hooks we're going to pull up the wire mesh with. You got the hooks, Tuna? Oh, yeah. Tuna's got the hookers. Two hookers is better than one hooker, Tuna Bolt. <laughs> You'd never get anything done, kid. Not looking at that on it. Right? You got enough? Have him come back a little more. Come back a little bit more. Never mind, he's good. We're good. Hey guys, Bondo here. So we're pouring us a uh, 26 by 30 little slab here for this new Dura project that we're doing. And we use this conveyor here. And uh, like I said, it's just nice. You can pull right up. We did this before the walls were up. This is how I like to do it. I was explaining to you why. You know, so you can reach over and trowel it. Just so much easier. But uh, here we are, we're dumping this out. And we like to dump out quite a bit of concrete. And then we'll put right here, we just put a wet screed in. I got this Marshalltown Shockwave power screed. We just zip it off with that. And then that's Big Biscuit there, my son. And he's floating it out with the bow float. That's what we call a bow float. So we just dump it in here, try to 
get it. This floor is like four to four and a half inches thick. Um, we had one truck of concrete coming in, and these trucks can only hold 10 yards, and we thought we would get it with 10 yards, but you'll see here at the end, we didn't quite make it with 10 yards, so we had to get a little balance at the end. But uh, that's how we do it, guys. We're dumping it right out here again, just working our way down through. We got those hooks. You can see tuna there. Big tuna in the gray sh shirt, we call him. He's pulling up the wire with them hooks. Um, you see when you try to pull it up as they're dumping it. And yeah, we walk on it, but the aggregate and stuff gets underneath there. So it stays up towards, you know, towards the bottom of the slab. It'll be in there, just up like an inch. There we are again. They're, these guys are puddling behind me. They're just using these flat rakes, guys, just puddling out the concrete. And there's Biscuit, he's jumping in, trying to keep up with the bow floating as we're going. And then you see Chris there, I call him Bronco, with the red um, scarf on his head. He's uh, magging the edge right there, guys. We got a chalk line snapped along the Nadura, and he's just um, hitting that edge. And you're going to see right here, we're going to be a little bit short on this concrete right here. Not much, a couple wheelbarrows, so... We sent, um, they bashed us up some. And here we go. We realize, yep, yeah, we're just a little bit short. So, you can only haul, like I said, they only could haul 10 yards on there. So, they got the concrete to us pretty quick. So, we were in good shape. It was a little bit behind uh, from the rest of the floor. But not much. We were pretty close to where the plan is. I'm just finishing up with a short screed here. Now we're going to wait for the balance. Okay, guys. Really batched us up a little quarter of a yard. We need about three wheelbarrows in there. So we're going to... It didn't take them very long. About 20 minutes is all. So we're going to pop that in there and level it off. And then get to edging and stuff. It's still pretty... It's not too hot out yet. So I think we're in good shape. So when you're using these conveyor trucks, guys, the balance after you empty the conveyor, the next concrete that you want, they have to dump onto the conveyor with the second truck. So once that conveyor is, like I said, he dumped his 10 yards, um, this little balance is just being dumped alongside of it. They'll pull up right beside the other truck and just dump on it. So that's what's going on here. He's getting lined up and uh, dumping on the side of the conveyor just so we can finish things up. And there we go. We just put it in there and kind of work, worked it into the other concrete. You can see I'm just kind of mixing it around. And there we are. That's how we did it. So guys, I like to get out on these floors as soon as I can step out on there and not leave a very deep footprint. The concrete's still pretty soft, and I run the power trowel pretty slow at first. You don't need the engine revved right up, and you don't need the blades. You don't want the blades tipped too much. You kind of want them flat. And this is that quick pitch um, trowel, so it's a lot easier to adjust the blades, the pitch of the blades. So I kind of like that versus my old trowel. But... I'm just hitting it for the first time, and I'm staying out of that corner where we ran a little bit short. I'm just staying away from that area right there. Okay, guys, I just hit it one time with the new machine. I like to feel that machine. This is that area that we were short, so I'm, I'm staying off of that for right now. And she's still a little soft, but I hit it trying to flatten things out a little bit. And uh, like I told you, we edged it right off the side here. You just reached over and <laughs> makes it nice and easy. But and we can continue to edge this from outside on each pass. 
Makes life so much easier. We'll let her stiffen up a little bit more and then we'll hit it again. You can see Bronco reaching right over the edge there, guys, and edging that, how easy that is to do. And I'm on the knee boards. That's the only spot I had to knee board was right there where we couldn't reach. So I hit that a couple times. I just used some foam boards, guys. That's what I like to kneel on. Just a couple pieces of polystyrene. And you can see Chris just hitting them edges. And that, that edge went first because of the sunlight. That edge he's working on right now. That dried before everything else. Just because of the way the um, sun will reflect off the Nadura block. So this other side on the other end was a little bit behind it. Just That's just the way it works with, with the um, ICF blocks. Now these uh, Nadura are like a bluish color. But the white ones are even worse. That's why we don't like the... I said it a bunch of times, but that's why we like to do the floors like this. We try to do this every time we can. Pour these floors before those walls go up. It just makes life so much easier. You get a nicer uh, floor, too, when you're done. Because you really can't keep up with it when the sun's reflecting off of it. It just doesn't turn out the same. You'll, you'll get a, a definitely a difference from one side of the floor to the other. So... See Broncos hitting right now, he's hitting that area that we ran short, so pretty much hitting that by hand in there, and I'm still trying to stay out of there, because it was behind the rest of the floor. Well, that's how easy it is right there, guys. When you pour them like this, that's a lot better. So I'm out here hitting it again guys, just let it dry a little bit more and then we hit it again and just switch directions with the trowel, the power trowel. Let me know if you like the video guys, leave me a comment, good or bad, that's all good, it'll uh, help my channel. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, look at, look at my channel, I got a lot of good stuff on there, you should subscribe. Here's Bronco just finishing things up guys, so thanks for watching the video. Here's the finished product right here. This is the next day. Come out pretty good. You can see a little discoloration in the corner there, but it all looks good. Stay tuned for the next video, guys.